<laughs> WZR Radio starts now. now, now. You can call into the show at 724-444-7444 using call ID 30273-POUND. I'm coming up for air so I can Check myself again and I stand Proving to the man but sheltered Confidence and stand Now, now, here's your host, Ryan Clark and Jose Rivera. Here are your hosts, Ryan Clark and Jose Rivera. It is time for another edition of WZR Radio here on WZRonline.com. I am, as always, Ryan Clark. It is May 19th, 2009, Tuesday, 7 to 9 Eastern Time, Jose Rivera. It's what we do on Tuesday nights. A little bit of WZR Radio. What's up, my man? Eh, nothing much, listening to you and kind of getting prepped up here for uh, the ninth yeah. wonderful show. What it, well, what'd you say, the ninth? The ninth wonderful the show? Tonight. Two nights. Two nights. Oh. oh Two nights, as in tonight's wonderful show. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. So what's up, man? Uh, we got a lot to talk about. We got um, got a lot of stuff going on, lots of lots of news. It looks like we have a, a problem in the Mile High City of Denver for next week. We had Judgment Day on Sunday night. We had um, Monday Night Raw from last night as well. And we got some big news. We're going to break some big news here on WCR Radio. Big news on Ric Flair's future in WWE. Looks like it's going to be back in the ring before too soon here. So uh, we'll stay tuned for that. And uh, a big update on Jeff Hardy, which is a little bit different than what I had said a couple weeks ago with the uh, with the reports. It's a, uh, some things have changed, and uh, we're going to get to that. So big news on Jeff Hardy, Ric Flair, Judgment Day, Raw, and uh, the big problem that's going down in Denver. You've been following that, man, the, uh, the Pepsi Center fiasco. Yeah, I actually uh, read about it. It's been all over the the news. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. ESPN um, actually ran a story on about that last night, and uh, it's interesting. It's interesting that uh, contracts were signed quite some time ago, and uh, you know the Denver uh, winning obviously puts the WWE event in jeopardy. Well, it isn't in jeopardy for that matter. Well, they're going to have a show. I mean, nonetheless, next Monday, so the Raw's not going to be canceled or anything like that. You know, they'll, they'll find a way to run a show. I'll tell you what, we'll talk about that here. And just uh, That'll be the first thing we talk about before we get into uh, Judgment Day and that Monday Night Raw from last night, which uh, continued that trend from, well, Judgment Day wasn't that bad, but um, last night's Raw, it had its, it had its ups and downs, you know what I mean? It wasn't... Wasn't anything special, that's for sure. But we'll talk about uh, both of those events. And like I said, the big news on Jeff Hardy, the big news on Ric Flair, his return to WWE, and the problems in the Mile High City of Denver. First off, how was the uh, how was the weekend, my man? It's going good. It's going good. I actually um, still dealing with my groin injury, unfortunately, so didn't do too much. I actually kind of lamped around this weekend. I'm going to. Ocean City, Maryland. We're doing a Memorial Day softball tournament down there. We do it every year. This is actually our fourth year. Uh, so I'm leaving uh, Thursday, so I'm trying to, you know, I got a game today at 9, but don't think I'll be playing that. I'm going to the game, but I uh, won't be, uh, unfortunately, participating until this nagging injury goes away. And, man, I'm telling you, it just, just doesn't, I mean, it's a lot better, but still, it's just still lingering. Dude, you want to talk about <laughs> My foot, right? It's been, what's it been, four weeks to today, or five weeks? I think it's almost five weeks, and uh, I don't know, man. Like, I'll, I'll get up out of bed in the morning, and it, it just kills me, you know, for like the first five or ten minutes. Then I start walking around on it, and it gets better, but I still have this this massive lump that's like on the outer outer part of the foot, and 
I don't know, man. I'm just hoping this. I mean, people tell me four to six weeks, four to eight weeks. That's the normal recovery time. That actually came from a wrestler, you know what I mean? Somebody that I talked through through email who said, you know, four to eight weeks, and uh, you just gotta you gotta nurse it and and let it heal and hope that it heals right. You know what I mean? Hope that the bone heals the proper way. And I'm waiting for that. It's 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 definitely improving. You know, I mean, you know the feeling. It improves, but it's still it's still there. You know what I mean? It hurts. It hurts where where you walk around with a limp. So. That's where we're both at, I guess, man. Both walking around with with limps, and uh, I don't know, I don't know. Hopefully, mine. I had hoped, you know. I thought maybe two or three weeks with mine. You know what I mean? But we're going on week five. <laughs> Next week will be week six, week seven, week eight. You know. Uh, so I don't know. It Not definitely a- might uh might run you there a little bit, especially if uh, you know you just keep on taking your ibuprofen and continue icing it. But only time will uh, fix that. Wound and um, yeah. you just gotta you know stay off of it. Don't try to do anything. Don't try to force yourself, and uh, it heal itself. But you know when you get older, you break things, you injure things. It takes a little bit longer to heal. It takes a little, yeah. Patience. Patience is the key, no doubt about it. So over the weekend, man, basically, like you said, I just uh, I didn't do much. I watched uh, Saturday night. I saw the. What was it? I think it was, was it Showtime? Yeah, Showtime fight with uh, Edison Miranda and Andre Ward boxing fight, which was decent, but it wasn't anything special. Um, so I watched that on Saturday. Sunday, uh, hung around the house. We had the pay-per-view. We worked it up on Sunday. And then today, right today, my buddy calls me up at about about 1 o'clock this afternoon. And he says, hey, man, I haven't seen you in a while. You want to, uh, you want to go out to the, to the local pub? Get, get some lunch and, and maybe drink a beer or something like this. So I said, you know, sure, no problem. Went down to the pub, sat down at the bar, and, of course, they're drinking, right? And he says, oh, I got some buddies from school that I haven't seen in a long time. Next thing you know, right, well, well, first of all, the uh, the bartender comes over and she says, can I get you something to drink? And I said, I oh, took a Pepsi. And I took a lot of heat from the two guys that were out of there. What, what do you mean, Pepsi? That I, you know how it is when you go out. So I said, I, I said, of course. Like, I said, listen, I said, listen, I know we're at a bar, but I got a radio show. Seven o'clock, I can't come on to a radio show, da 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 da, da. One thing led to another. The heat got so intense, if you will, that I, I caved in. I guess it's, what do they call it, peer pressure? Is that what it is? No. <laughs> but uh, I caved in, right? I caved in, and one drink led to another drink, and another drink led to another drink, and then the pizza and the food. And then I came back home, and... Here we are, right now. So we've got an intoxicated Ryan Clark on WZR Radio. See, if I had never brought that up, if I had never brought that up, nobody would have even known. You know what I mean? Honestly, you, sound, you sound normal to me. As a matter yeah. of fact, it might be a good thing if uh, you're actually doing pretty well. <laughs> Maybe I should drink every week, right, before we come on, uh, <laughs> before we come on the air. No. But, uh, yeah, so on the way home, we stopped at the, uh, the local Cumberland Farms and picked up the 12-pack, and uh, that's where we stand right now. So I got in, I got in uh, right before the show went on the air, and uh, that's where we stand. I'm not going to cancel WZR Radio because I had a few beers. You know what I mean? I mean, come Never on. cancel. We don't, what's that word? Was it, yeah, what is that word? What is cancel? Right? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's where we stand. That's what I did today, and uh, here we are. I'm a little bit behind on work, but uh, we'll get that taken care of after we go off the air at 9 o'clock tonight. So that's about it. I mean, that was the weekend. You said you didn't do much. I didn't do much. Yeah, uh, un- I, unfortunately, I went to um, to Jersey, and then I got stuck on George Washington Bridge, man. It, it was so bad. Um, people were actually out of their cars sitting on rails. And I don't even know still to this day why the, the traffic was so much. But unfortunately, because of that, I thought I was going to be home in time for the pay-per-view. But I didn't get home until about 9.30 and end uh drop, you know, a lot of cash on a even though I know they show the replay for free afterwards, I just still didn't I didn't merit. So unfortunately I didn't um see the pay per view. I do plan on seeing it though because uh, a buddy of mine did record it and actually burned it for me and I have it here. It's just unfortunately I didn't get enough time today to sit there and watch it. But you know, I read the results and stuff like that. So what are you, you're talking about Judgment Day on Sunday, right? That's correct. And then what about Raw last night? Did you catch that yep. or no? I, I seen Raw. Yep, I uh, actually saw Raw this morning. 
All right, awesome, awesome. So we'll be able to talk about that. I know in uh, I know in hour number two, you're gonna have to get in the car, right? You're gonna have to make a drive to uh, to the softball field because I know you guys got a game at nine. So I just so I mean for people that <laughs> wonder what the hell is going on in hour number two, you're gonna be in a uh, you're gonna be in a car driving to the softball. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have the uh, the Bluetooth going. So unfortunately, in the state of Connecticut, you can't drive and talk on a cell phone. You get pulled over and it's an eighty-five dollar oh. fine. So oh, and, come uh, on! Does anybody follow that rule anymore? Really? Does anybody? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> in Connecticut, they do. I can tell you. Yeah. That. Do they really? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Really? See, I, I see people talking on cell phones all the time. I guess it's only it's only illegal in some states. I don't think they have that for every state where it's illegal. Yeah, no, well, it's, it's some state. New York, New Jersey. New Jersey actually yeah. was the first yeah. state to implement that, and then of course Connecticut and couple other maybe like five I don't, other I don't see I don't see the problem 